Are you ready? Jim Carrey! Give me this. Sit up, Jim. It. Are you all right, man? I hope you don't mind if I just relax out here. <laughs> hey, it's my hiatus, right? I want all these. Jim. I. I. Jim. Jim. I just want to say, I was sitting at home, and and they called me and they said. Come on, come on down and be on the on the Sue Studio show. And and I, and I said I'm gonna, I'll be right there. And seriously, Wait, seriously, Jim, 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 stop right now. Let me tell you something. You have you have a lot of fans. You're a role model to a uh. lot of people. Seriously, Cecilia. Cecilia. That's a Phil Collins song, Jim. I'm Arsenio. Say Arsenio, Jim. Arsenini. Arsenini. Seriously, Arsenini. Strive to be number one. That's Jim. what I say. Strive, strive to be number one. Jim, your parents are probably so upset right now. I can't believe you're doing this. Hey, oh no, they're hey, they're, hey, hey. they're proud. Jealous is the word. They, they said they said I was a loser, but look at me now. Look at me now. Your feet off the couch. I think I get. I think I get it. I think I get it. Means. No, Jim. No, 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 no. I hope. I hope. I hope. I know. I know you did this already, but I hope you. I hope you don't mind if I. If I. Jim, Jim no. <laughs> hey, I'm on hiatus, right? Jim. I just maybe just need. Jim, you know, a little drink of water. Yeah. Just yeah. to dilute the Jesus. Now, now Jim, what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to... Mm. Mm. Give me that, give me that. <laughs> Jim. Jim, I'm not going to invite you back on the show anymore, Jim. Tell them where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna do your date. Tell them. Tell them where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them, and then I'm gonna send you home, Jim, to your wife. This is sad. Sit back. <laughs> Just sit back. You're very mean when you're drunk. I hate you when you're like this. And stop grabbing what is yourself. This? Stop. Stop. You know what it is. Stop it, Jim. What is it? You know what it is, Jim. <laughs> and while you're drunk, just leave it alone. I just, I just wanted to do a puppet show. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm doing the dance of the happy genitalia! <laughs> Here, you're on the pillow, Jim. Tell me where I'm gonna be! Okay, okay. These are your dates. It's June 17th, you're in... At, at the Bassett Theater in Toronto, Bassett, Canada. Bassett Theater, Toronto, Canada. I'll be there. June nineteenth, Florida State, Jacksonville, Florida. You gotta get a ticket. <laughs> Ju I've known you for a long time, and I've never seen you like this, and I'm very disappointed in you. You're breaking my heart. <laughs> You're the reason I drink. <laughs> 
Jim, just let me finish the dates. And, and come on, no more. You've had enough. Don't you think you've had enough? I'm all right. I can handle it. I'm coming to a town near you. Uh, oh, yes, on June 26th, as a matter of fact. What, what theater is that? As they sit. That's a... As they sit. As It's in San Diego, California. It's that... As they sit. It's a... Oh, God. Jim, what, it. it's, it's a Speckles or something. It's a Speckles Theater. San Diego, California. Gotta be there. You gotta be there. I gotta have an audience. And you see, I've been playing the clubs. And it's lonely. I won't drink, I swear. I'll, I'll be sober. Just, I'll be just sick. Relax, Jim. Just relax. Am I going to be playing this soon? Because it is. Yeah, that's June 26th. I said that. Just, just sit back. I better get off this sauce. Just sit back and relax. It's killing me. Congratulations on all your success, and everything's going to be all right. Um, maybe we can take a commercial, probably. Hey, you're not Jay. Branford. What, uh, the, what have you done with Branford? Branford's you in Burbank. You black bastard. We'll take a commercial. That, we'll be right back. That's for Reginald Denny. We'll, we'll be right back. I, I apologize. Late night theater. Arsenio dinner theater. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do, you do great physical things with your body. You know, I'm not finished with this character. I think there's something in there. <laughs> <laughs> so have you always been a physical comic? Have you gone through stages as a stand-up, sitting on a stool, playing an instrument, doing props, or has it always I been have, like this? I have just been a total spaz my whole life. <laughs> No, I have, uh, I've always, like, uh, you know, challenged myself. I have with these weird things, like if I walk down a street and I slap, uh, you slap a post with one hand, I'll, like, go a quarter of a mile, come all the way back, and slap it with the other hand, you know? Just because I'll feel off balance all day, I'll say, mm. like this, you know? So, so I've always done real weird stuff. I do artistic, physical impressions, what I do. Uh, like, for instance, uh, this would be a piece I call, Uh-oh, Here Comes a Car. <laughs> Thank you. And I, I can just, can I just move this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is, uh, I have to get set up for this one, but uh, I call this, uh, I call this my darn bungee cord. <laughs> When we used to hang out at the comedy store a long time ago, you used to do, Bruce Dern, you used to do this thing with your face that was mm -hmm. amazing. Can you still do that? Well, I've moved on now. Oh, you've got to do it for them. You have to do it. Well, now. <laughs> You're a real nice man, Arsenio. Real nice! <laughs> you have an incredible control over your, over your stuff. <laughs> And, and uh, Joy told me that you were into a self-help movement. I'm totally into the self-help movement. I buy everything. I have an incredible memory. I'd like to remember everybody's name if I could. No, I... Uh, I uh... <laughs> Tony Robbins saved my life. Really? You're going to see me late night some night just doing that. Wouldn't that be freaky if you saw me up there going, Yes, with that glossy eye look. Yes, it hit me when I was... I had no money and no education. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm totally into that. I, I, I'm, I'm on a spiritual quest, really, you know? See, I, I, I want something more out of life. Being normal isn't, isn't enough for me. I, I, I don't think I'll be happy until I can turn water into wine. 
until I can feed this entire audience with a few loaves of bread. <laughs> My psychiatrist says I have a messiah complex, but I forgive him, for he knows not what he does. I don't know, I'm just totally... See, I want something weird to happen. I want miracles. I want to see miracles and stuff. I think, like, the closest thing we got to it now, you gotta, you know, I don't want to have to pay, like, 60 bucks to go to Vegas and see a couple of guys in tights make tigers disappear. You know what I mean? I mean and Roy, I love yeah, them. Oh, that's no big deal, man. You know how they do that? Oh. I'll give you a hint. They okay. started with gerbils. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Jim. <laughs> Jim. It's an addiction. Jim, damn it. I'm telling you, next thing you know, it's the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> oh, God. Now I will make it reappear. Ta-da. <laughs> Well, that's Sick Breed Roy at Catch a Rising Star I'm this weekend. I'm um, <laughs> Do you have a middle name? Jim something, Carrie? Uh, you had to bring it up, didn't you? <laughs> I, I, you have a, quite a research staff. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you really do your homework, baby. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My middle name's Eugene. All right! <laughs> No, I, uh, my middle name's Eugene, and I, uh, I, that's my, what my parents named me. They gave me that name just so I would never get too cocky, you know? Yeah. Because if your middle name is Eugene, soon, you know, if you, no matter how cool you try to be, sooner or later, somebody's going to come out of nowhere and go, your middle name's Eugene, man. And you'll go, <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I used to like, I used to get into, like, I, I have these situations that arise in my life whenever I'm trying to be cool and I, and I get, you know, I, I make a fool of myself, I call it the Eugene factor. Like when I was a kid, whenever I tried to take control, it would, you know, blow up in my face. One time I, uh, I was out with a friend of mine, there was a bully who always would, you know, follow us around the mall and attack us and things when people weren't looking. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, one day he came out of the sporting goods store with a, with a pea shooter started firing at us from about 30 feet away just like, choon, 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 just having a great old time and me trying to be in control i said okay bill cover your eyes and go towards him <laughs> and from about 15 feet away he shot a pea right up my nose <laughs> into the bridge of my nose and i was just sitting on the ground going shit 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 in living colors jim carrey olivia next